everybody. Welcome to ABC Interactive English. I am Shane. And I'm Matt. Today we're continuing with our story and we're reading part three of The Count and the Wedding Guest. So I'm still very curious because last time we learned that that Mr. Donovan can't invite his his very good friend to his wedding and we don't know why. So why would someone do that? Why would that happen? Uh, you maybe you're afraid that they won't get along. Maybe they have different personalities, your wife and this guest. <clears throat> or maybe they get along too well. Mm. So you're afraid maybe that they like each other or maybe they used to date each other in the past. If that's the situation, I don't want Mike Sullivan to come to my wedding either. So, I guess not. That's, that's one reason. Or maybe, maybe Mike Sullivan huh? is just not very well behaved. So maybe he's just like uh, you know, very rude to people. Maybe he's gonna not talk nicely to the to you know the bride's parents or right. to your parents. So. Or maybe he's really stinky. Maybe he doesn't shower. He doesn't probably. shower or clean himself. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and find out. We'll see after this. At last, Miss Conway had an answer for Mr. Donovan. She explained, There's no count. I bought the picture in a shop. Also, I wear black because I look good in it. Okay, so we're finally at part three. So at the end of part two, Mr. Donovan asked Miss Conway, do you love me as much as you love the Count? Ooh, it's an interesting question because she still wears the Count's picture yeah. around her neck and she still wears black, making him think that she still misses the Count. I think I would be pretty jealous too. Mm -hmm. If you were engaged to get married to somebody, and maybe you look on their phone and they still have a lot of pictures of their ex-boyfriend or somebody, their ex-fiance. Mm -hmm. How would you feel? Well, I wouldn't feel good about that. But yeah. in this case, the Count did, he did die. So he's no longer around. So Yeah, it's, it's a kind of a strange situation, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue. At last, Miss Conway had an answer for Mr. Donovan. Ooh, so we're going to find the answer to that question. Right. She explained, there's no count. What? I bought the picture in a shop. Right, so she bought the picture of the count or this person mm -hmm. in a shop. So a shop is like a store, mm -hmm. a place where you go and buy things. Mm -hmm. And we also have this as a verb. Right? Yep. To shop. So if you want to go into a store or a shop to buy things, then you shop. So you can shop in a shop <laughs> or go shopping at a shop. Right. You could also say to go shopping. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So. Also, I wear black because I look good in it. Oh, hey, I've heard that before. Mm -hmm. So if you want to look skinnier or look slimmer, oh. You wear black. Have you heard that before? Yeah, too? I heard. So maybe you're thinking, maybe uh, maybe she's a bit chubby. Is that yeah. <laughs> so chubby is a nice way or a cute way to say fat. So you're saying she's using the black to look slimmer. She looks good in it, maybe. Yeah. Or some people just look good in black. So in there we have a vocabulary word, which is explain. So explain is a verb meaning to tell the details or about how something happened or why something happened. Oh. So to telling about a situation is to explain something. And in this case, she's explaining that, you know, she bought the picture in a shop and that she explains that she wears black because she looks good in it. Right. So she bought the picture in a shop, meaning it wasn't a count. It's just some picture. Mm -hmm. She doesn't even know who it is. Right? Yeah. And she's not wearing black because somebody died. It's just you know, because she looks skinny, probably, mm -hmm. right? She looks good in black. Yeah. So I still have a lot of questions about this, and I hope, you know, she can explain more after the break. I'm curious to hear her explanation okay. after the break, too. So if you explain something, what you explain is your explanation. Mm -hmm. So she better have a good explanation for lying to Mr. Donovan. Yeah, I hope so. Let's find out after the break. Thank you. 
She added, "I never liked anyone but you. Do you still love me?" Mr. Donovan answered, "Of course. You just made everything right. Also, I never believed your story about the count. That surprised Miss Conway. She asked, "Why not?" He said, "That picture around your neck is actually a picture of Mike Sullivan." Okay, so so far in the story, right now, Miss Conway is giving an answer to the to Mr. Donovan if she loves him as much as she loved the count, and she has told him actually I lied about the count. The picture she is wearing is just some picture she found in a shop,、mm -hmm. and the reason she's wearing black is not because the count died or anybody died. She just looks better in black,、okay. so I think she has some more explaining to do, right? I hope so.、Okay. Let's see what she says. She added, "I never liked anyone but you." Okay. Do you still love me? Okay, so that's some good news, right? That she's only she only likes him. Yeah. She, she's never liked anybody else. Right. He was worried about this count. He doesn't need to be worried anymore. Because、yeah. she's only liked him, but she is lying to him. Yeah, that's not bad. So we have the vocabulary word "add" here. She added.、Mm -hmm. So this just means she's going to give more information, more of an explanation.、Mm -hmm. So to put more or to give more, and we use this in sentences in place of like to say.、Oh. So when someone's already talking and then they say something more, more. we can use that they added something.、Okay. We can also use "add" like. To just put more of something. So if I have making, I'm making a soup and it's not salty enough, I can add more salt just to make it a little more salty. Right. Okay. And continuing, Mr. Donovan answered, "Of course, you just made everything right. So of course, he still loves her, even though she lied. Wow. Yeah. But you just made ev." Everything right, right now. So yeah, so everything kind of he means everything is okay. He feels better about everything.、Mm -hmm. So something wasn't right, or something wasn't okay before,、yeah. and now everything is right. Everything is fine because she told the truth finally.、Mm -hmm. Also, I never believed your story about the count. Oh, so, so he actually knew that she was lying. He knew the whole time. Yeah. And he didn't tell her he knew until now. Yeah, and,、so. it, and it doesn't seem like he really minds that she lied. Guess not.、Mm. Well, he said in there, "I never believed your story."、Yeah. So another vocabulary word here, and it's a verb to believe, and to believe means to think something is true. Right. So in this case. He never believed her story. He never thought it was true. He always knew she was lying. Right. So he didn't believe the story. So story is a noun. So if you tell somebody about something that happened, you're telling them a story. But usually, when we say you like, if you're telling your child a bedtime story,、mm -hmm. we kind of think of a story as being something that you make up. It's not something that's actually true. So in this case, it's not true. She was just telling. So a, it's yeah, one of these made-up stories that she told to the count. Okay. So that surprised Miss Conway.、Ooh. So she's surprised that he knew she was lying. Of course. I mean, I think. You think that when someone finds out that you're lying, that they're going to be upset or unhappy,、right. but that surprised her. And surprised means that when something that happens that you don't expect or you don't think will happen, and then it happens, that what you will feel is surprised.、Wow. So she feels surprised, and she's seen something surprising or something in the verb that surprised her. Okay. She asked, "Why not?" He said. That picture around your neck is actually a picture of Mike Sullivan. Oh, okay. So it's actually a picture of Mike Sullivan. So that's another way to say it's really a picture of Mike Sullivan.、Mm -hmm. So it's not actually it's not the picture of the count. It's Mike Sullivan, and you know what?、Yeah. Now we know 
why Mr. Donovan mm. might have had to say no to Mike Sullivan mm. because it would have been very strange to invite your friend to the wedding and the woman you're marrying has a picture, picture around her neck of him. Right, and probably he was worried. He didn't want to make, you know, his wife to be his, you know, the person he's going to marry. He didn't want to make her feel bad when she sees Mike Sullivan at the wedding, too. Yeah, and I'm really curious why she doesn't know Mike Sullivan if he's such an important person in the city. You know, it's a bit of a mystery. Still some mysteries that we don't quite know the answers to, but a good story overall, yeah. and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. At last, Miss Conway had an answer for Mr. Donovan. She explained, There's no count. I bought the picture in a shop. Also, I wear black because I look good in it. She added, I never liked anyone but you. Do you still love me? Mr. Donovan answered, Of course. You just made everything right. Also, I never believed your story about the count. That surprised Miss Conway. She asked, Why not? He said, That picture around your neck is actually a picture of Mike Sullivan. Hello, I'm Tina. We're going to look at the key words. First, explain. 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 Eric explained how the machine worked. Eric explained how the machine worked. The next word is believe. Believe. Explain. I don't believe anything you said. I don't believe anything you said. I don't believe anything you said. Next word is story. Story. Meaning. Story. My mother is a writer. She writes children's stories. 我妈妈是位作家，她写儿童故事。最后一个单词 surprise, surprise， 动词使惊讶，感到意外。The news surprised everyone at the office. 这个消息让办公室的所有人都感到很惊讶。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 at last， 最后，最终。这是一个副词片语，意思相近于 finally。我们来看看这个例句。At last, he found his passport and got home safely. 最终，他找到了他的护照，平安回到家。Passport 在这里指的是护照 ，safely 指的是安全的。下一个文法 ，I never liked anyone but you. 除了你，我从来不曾喜欢过任何人。有有点肉麻。But 在这里指的是除了什么之外的意思。我们来看看这个例句 ：I don't trust anyone but you。除了你，我不相信任何人。下一个文法 ：Of course， 当然。这个句子很常用于口语之中。我们来看看这个对话 ：May I leave a bit early? I need to do some errands for my mom。我可以提早一点离开吗？我需要帮我妈跑腿办些事情。Of course, 当然可以了。Errand 在这里指的是差事、跑腿。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法，回家要记得复习哦。我们下一课再见啦，拜拜。The Wei Wu Ing Metropolitan Park is a big park. This park was a military base before. The park is full of many pretty trees, flowers, and lakes. Three military buildings. Have been kept in the park. The view at the water tower is very beautiful. Families can play together in the playground. Don't forget to see the public art displays in the park. The Wei Wu Ing Metropolitan Park is a great place to experience the beauty of nature.
See you next time. time.